Okay. <sighs> hey, uh, is everything okay? What are you talking about? Back in the cargo hold, you, you know, you, you ran out screaming your head off. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. Right. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Relative. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Uh, where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. <laughs> what is something beeping? So maybe it still works. Oh, it's me now? Maybe there's something back here? We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. So like this ship is actually attacking the plane at the top? Ah, who would have thought, huh? if they weren't Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, Swiss cheese. Where's Brad, by the way? Why aren't you following?
Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. But well, you're just sitting there. Sure, your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas over here, the gas alarm. Do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your ar left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both, hand, both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness strap over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve. Uh, and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The, the mask should crumble around your face. If the mask does not crumble, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug and repeat the process above until the mask crumbles to ensure there are no leaks. Uh, okay. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go of this hose. You may not breathe into normally. We'll replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. Mm. You may not remove your mask only when you are totally safe and it's to do so. Prise the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing out the valve, breathing out sharply, and pushing out any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask. Uh, inflexible corrugated hose into carry bags. If you found it, you may remove the carry if it is no longer required by unfastening the band and shoulder strap. Gas mask will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. Okay. Nice instruction. Oh, Brad, you're here so quick. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. You? Only you? Someone else has to also help him. I'll pull you up. Entire scene, everybody's gonna come up. Okay, Scary music started. West Fliss, by the way.
Oh, Fleece is over there. No, no. No comments or anything? No? Over here! Got a way through here. Whoa! Okay. Come on, Brad, move along. Last log shows him caught in a storm. <sighs> I swear from the wheat. Waves 20 feet. No damage reported. Weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water but it is under control. Navigated port C bed dev readable. Oh, I, can, I have to pull it to the other side. Operational. What does bearing update? Secrets found. Operation. Operational logs for SS Urang. AM. C going down. No thing fog. PM. Increasing heat. PM. AM. 7:30. Fog very thick. Midnight. PM. Dense fog continues. That is all. I don't I haven't even checked this bearing update before, let's see. Okay. So found a knife in the kitchen, chose to keep it, okay. Can we go over here? No. Okay. More dead bodies. Oh no! He's killing himself? So what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Save him? You talking? <sighs> you find the radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. 
not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. It's a nice way of saying it, Brad. Maybe be a little bit more optimistic. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Okay. So you came from China to US. You were supposed to use the blue route. For some reason you used the red route. Um, nothing written. Uh, ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Head storm, blown off course, report of full to flood, excessive lightning strikes, a drift in shallow waters, location unknown, seabed death believed uncharted, and I unable to establish death, search for group number overboard commands, search for called off, maybe got over, search and establish location. In other words, you are in uncharted territory. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent attempt attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. This mm, is the one. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. This is the operator who was sending Morse code earlier during the last message. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Why? You're. You don't know how to... Ah! It's working! It's a number station. Military bandwidth. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh. Oh. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. Come on. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello. Hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. Power's down. Hey! Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Uh. I got this. I got. Th I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, Why? What? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. What? All right. You and me, Julia. Yeah, 
Yes, you can handle it, alright. 